Tom Nappy here with HCAM News in 2. The Hopkinton Center for the Arts has been working on renovating the barn for months, and this past weekend they hosted an open house for a portion of it, and Executive Director Kelly Grill was thrilled about the response. This is uh, the turnout is um, more than we could have hoped for. It was wonderful to see everybody and people coming to find out information about classes and activities going on, but also just to find out about the facility. So it's been really, really fun to show everybody what we've been working on. Hopkinton High School made another impressive list for being one of the top high schools. Newsweek.com ranked Hopkinton the 93rd best high school in the country. Newsweek rated Hopkinton High School as having a 100% graduation rate, with 100% of students being college bound. On August 14th, Hopkinton police executed a search warrant and seized about 70 marijuana plants from a home on Fruit Street. The seizure included nearly 9 ounces of marijuana that had been packaged for distribution. The total value of marijuana seized was between $239,000 and $287,000. After much participation and interest, Hopkinton Drug will once again be hosting the lecture series at the Senior Center. The lectures provide information from doctors and medical professionals about various topics. Michael Massione of Hopkinton Drug explains. Yeah, this is Hopkinton Drug's fifth uh, annual health and wellness lecture series. And the series was created about five years ago for us to be able to give back to the community. This has been HCAM News in 2. For more on these stories and everything else, Hopkinton, tune in to HCAM News Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6 and 10 p.m. And be sure to check our website, hcam.tv.